Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Fino Concept. So, sorry I haven't posted in like two weeks now. I was busy getting this shit. And this is another sample with a white, you no know, color. I don't know if I'm getting this in focus. Um, it looks like this. I'll, I'll just throw it up in the screen somewhere. So, if you're interested in merch, please let me know in the comments below and probably we can get something on board. Or probably add it to the website as a mesh shop or something like that. Anyway, today we are going to create a shape transition in Adobe After Effects. There are several of them, but this is one that I feel comfortable sharing with you. So today we are going to create this in Adobe After Effects. So let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's go ahead to open up our application. For this tutorial, I'm using Adobe After Effects 2018 and I'll go ahead and click on New Project. So we click on New Composition. I'll set the width to 1920. Then I'll set the height to 1080. The background doesn't really matter but I'll leave mine as white and I'll click on OK. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go to the Shapes tool and grab the Rectangle tool and I'll actually double click so that it fills up the entire screen and I'll select a color I want to use by clicking on this rectangle next to the fill. So I'll be using this um, red or yeah this color for now and I'll click on OK. Now let's zoom out a little bit. I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse. So what I'll do is I'll hide everything with that shape layer selected, I'll press on S to bring up the scale and I'll scale it up to about, let's try 200 or probably just 150. Okay, then I'll press P on my keyboard to bring up the position and I'll place it somewhere around here. Then I'll move it up a little bit. So let me fit this to screen and see what I'm doing. So whilst holding down the space bar, it's going to switch to the hand tool which I can use to manipulate this. So I'll use the move tool to place this somewhere around here. I think that is okay. Then I'll go to the anchor point tool. Then I'll bring the anchor point over to this end. Now I'll explain why I do that in a second. Alright, so let's fit this back to screen. Actually, I should zoom out. Now it seems the scale is a little bit too huge. So what I'll do is I'll bring up my scale options using S and I'll probably set it to uh, 120. Alright, so press R to bring up the rotation and I'll rotate this by about negative, um, let's try negative 30. I think 29 is okay, so negative 29.5, still too much negative 29. Let's move back. So what I want to do is animate this over here. Now I wanted to see how this is going to move, that's why I had it at this angle that's not what i'm going to be using for now so what i'll do is i'll move over to about one second then i'll go back to um zero so i'll set this to about um negative 90 degrees so this is where i want it to be so in the beginning of the timeline which is at zero frames i'll create a rotation keyframe press f9 to easy ease it then i'll move over to about one second then I'll change the rotation to something like this. So it's going to be at zero rotation. Now if we go ahead and play this, this is what we are getting. Now I'm just trying to make sure that it is covering every white part. So it appears that it is. So I'll go into the graph editor. And if your graph editor is not like this, just right click and go to edit speed graph. So what I'll do is I'll select this line over here. And I'll make it move very fast in the beginning. So if I go ahead and play this, this is how it looks like. Alright. So let's go back to where we were. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. So Ctrl D. Make sure that that layer is selected. Now for shape layer 2, I'll go back to my shapes tool. And I'll change the fill color to um, a much darker color. So something like this should be just fine. You know what, I'll change the shape layer 1 to a much darker color so that it will be dark colors moving into a much lighter color. So let's just delete that and reduplicate with Ctrl D. So let's change the color to a much lighter color. I'll go up a little bit. Okay. Now I'll let this start over at... Now I'll let this start over at um, 30 frames before one second. So that's like half 
a second now if you go ahead and play this you see that they both move in like this they don't necessarily have to be aligned the same i can also bring this somewhere here just trying to make it look different so if i come to over at this area i can duplicate one more time bring the playhead over here and i'll change the color again making sure that that rectangle tool is selected so i'll make it much lighter again i'll move in a little bit this time around i'll start over here so ctrl d to duplicate and i'll bring this over here so this is going to be the lightest and it's going to be the last one so somewhere around here should be just fine so if i go ahead and play this this is how the transition is going to look like um i think the last one is a little bit too late so um you know what i'll rather bring it closer so that the transition moves um a lot faster all right now let's play this and see how it looks like okay i think this is cool so um the transition shouldn't last for a very long time it should be like um between two seconds so i'm going to cut my playhead over here so what i'll do is i'll highlight everything so i'll hold down the alt key and press on the close bracket key so that's going to just cut it out over here now i'm going to change the settings of my composition so i'll go to composition click on composition settings and i'll make it um three seconds instead of five seconds so something like this should be just fine all right now once i have all of these i'm going to select every single layer right click go to print compose now make sure that move all attributes into the new composition is checked and adjust all of this is checked so i click on ok and once i've done that i'm going to duplicate this new composition so ctrl d to duplicate and i'll right click and go to time and i'll click on time reverse layer so this is going to flip it around instead of moving in the other direction it's going to be moving in the opposite direction so i see that my transition ends somewhere around here now i'm going to right click again and go to time and click on enable time remapping so what this is going to allow me to do is i can alter how fast this thing is going to play so you can see from here all right so once i have that i'll just bring this over to the end of the clip making sure that this second keyframe is somewhere around here now if you go ahead and we play this this is what we are getting so if you have a video you can just put the video beneath this or probably an image you can just have it beneath this and it's going to transition between that as simple as that now if you want to render this out um i think i have to bring this a little bit here if you want to render this out without the background make sure that you click on this icon right here which is toggle transparency great then go to composition go to add to render queue then over here once you've selected where this file should be you just click on lossless and you change the channels to rgb and alpha mat click on ok and just render it out so as always the template is going to be linked below so be sure to check it out thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is theo from Fino concept and i'll see you guys in the next one